you because you've already gone through the experience of using iframes. Today's our iframe lesson. You've already gone through the experience of using iframes to embed video uh, into your website. So we're going to do we're going to do that again, and then we're going to embed a different website of your choice um, into the your web page. And then we're going to use iframe again to embed a website, but it's going to kind of look like a, a game. And so you're just going to see how you can embed lots of different things using iframes into your websites. Um, the first thing that we want to do is let's take a look at our assignment. Choose a video to embed using the YouTube frame. And this is something that we've already taken a look at, right? So I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Um, this is the video that we used in our previous lesson. I'm going to pause that and I'm going to click share and that's going to bring me to my embed code. I'm just going to copy that, go back to my web page and I'm going to click paste. So let's just use this to remind ourselves about some of the attributes. So you have your iframe start tab and then here are some of the attributes you're going to use. You're going to use width 420, height 315 and you can experiment with that to see what you like or don't like. And then you're going to use source and um, this doesn't have the HTTP and we want to put that in there just because that's kind of the, the uh, language that we use HTTP colon slash slash then www whatever um, this uses the frame border equals zero tab but we're gonna take that out just because I don't really want to use that and then it also has the allow full screen but these are the real attributes that we're working at width height source and then remember you have your end iframe and this creates the iframe this tells us what uh, site to put into it so let's make sure that that works great alright now let's edit that then what we want to do is to choose a different website of our choice so in order to get started I'm going to copy that iframe I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space with a line break and it says to use a height equals 500 width equals 600 uh, wait, mix those up. 600 width and 500 height. And then what I can go search if I want, I can just jump to another web, um, web page to find a thing. I'm going to use the HTM, HTTP colon slash slash WNFL.com. Okay, so that's the one that I'm going to use, but you can use whatever you want. Um, and I'm not going to worry about allow full screen. Okay, that's a specific tag. So the ones that I want to make sure I use are these um, source I have, height I have, width I have, scrolling equals. That lets me put a scroll bar. So I'm going to say scrolling equals yes. And then I'm going to uh, say name and I'm going to give this a specific name. And this is going to be valuable later on, but it's just important to remember that you can name your iframe. So we're going to name that NFL site and I've completed my second item. Then I'm going to click break and I'm going to use iframe to embed the following website on following website on your website. So what this is is a specific website that lets you play chess online. So I'm going to copy my previous one and I'm going to keep the same width and height because it says to make sure to specify a height and width that enable you to see the chessboard. So I need to see what's actually the right chess, but then I'm going to copy this part. Now I have a little bit left over here. I don't want you to copy that. I only want you to copy from the HTTP to the .com. Okay. And um, we'll delete all of these things, the scrolling. And I'm going to call this name is chessboard and basically what that means is that later on if I want to I can say change the website in NFL site to some other website and change the website in chessboard to a specific website so as we start doing things later on in JavaScript you're gonna be able to modify and let the users modify what happens on the screen but this should work for us so I have my lesson number one I have lesson number two. Let's make sure I have my um, scroll bar here. So I do. Here's the scroll bar that is generated. Okay. And then here is my last one, which is the chess page. Okay. And so you see here I can play live chess. 
here inside my website by embedding a specific game here. Okay, and that's pretty cool, right? So I don't know if what I did here, but that's how that would work. All right, so that is my uh, uh, 